We're going to do a reading about your existing relationship or whoever you were in contact contact with now. Please remember my readings are general readings to so only take what resonates for you. Um, okay, so we're going to find out how you're feeling, how your person's feeling, you know, uh, what connects the two of you for better or worse. Then you have the highest potential and the lowest potential of this connection. So what connects you is the three of swords. All right. So to me, I don't know, but I feel like you guys have both dealt with situations or people who have always left you heartbroken. You know, um, maybe you dealt with a lot of people who deceived you, lied to you, you know, gave you broken promises. Like, I feel like you guys have connected in a way to where it's like this person has been through a really difficult time in their life and you have too as well. And it's like you guys may have bonded over this for the three of swords to be the thing that connects you. This could be like a trauma bond. You also have the devil right here for your person's energy. So your person may be very toxic or there may be some patterns that they have that are not so healthy for this connection. Your energy here is the Ace of Cups in reverse. You feel like you're not getting the love that you deserve. You're not getting the attention or the time that you put into this connection. You feel like it's not being reciprocated. All right. I just feel like maybe you feel like this person's like... It may, even though you're with this person, you still feel alone. You're not getting your needs met. You're not getting the love that you're putting out into the situation. If anything, with the devil, you guys may be dealing with somebody who is controlling, possessive. This person could have like addictions. I am going to clarify the devil. The Ace of Wands. The Two of Swords. This person may have a problem with like never giving you information, keeping you blinded to like what's going on. The Ace of Wands can be somebody that always likes to be, you know, out there doing things, adventures. Like maybe this person's like never home. Maybe they're always traveling or they're always doing something. Whatever it is, I feel like they're always doing something that doesn't involve you. And I feel like you feel alone. You feel like you're broken. Like you're not getting the love um, that you were wanting out of this connection. The page of pentacles. You may consider, I mean, you got two, you got an ace, you got a page. These are all brand new energies. You may consider this person immature or younger than you or somebody that just doesn't know what they want. Like new is exciting for this person. I feel like once this person, you know, stays in something too long, they may be somebody that gets bored. Um, and then they act out. I'm going to see what the Ace of Wands is. The King of Cups and the Hangman. This is somebody that feels like they like to take advantage of others. Uses people, selfish, um, playing on your emotions. Okay, this person could play on your emotions. So you have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords. Wow, I feel like you guys are taking your power back or you're about to speak your truth. There's something that you guys are about to say because I feel like you've worked up enough courage to do this. Something you're going to say or something you're going to do. But like you got two queens here. You're not playing around. So I think you guys are about to the Eight of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles. You don't think this is going to end up being something that's long term. You don't feel like this could be something that heals. I feel like you guys feel like this is kind of like the end of the road here. And I feel like you guys feel like you just need to cut this out of your life because it's not really serving you. And I feel like you guys are ready to go towards like um, a new beginning here with the Ten of Pentacles and the Temperance card. So the highest potential in this connection or an area that needs to be nurtured or strengthened is the emperor. Somebody feels like they're too much in charge. Okay. This, I feel like is this person. But the thing is, I feel like you guys are taking your power back. So this person may feel like they've had you in their corner, but I don't feel like you're being stuck in the corner anymore. You know, <laughs> you want to know what I just heard? I don't know if you ever watched Dirty Dancing, but I heard nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> That could be you guys um, just being like, no, you know what? I'm not shutting up. No, I'm not going to stay in the house all day. Or no, I'm not going to be doing this anymore. I'm going to do what I want. So I feel like what needs to be nurtured or taken care of is like the power here. I, it just feels very one-sided. I feel like this person feels like they get to say so of everything. They get to do what they want. And then you, it's like you got to just kind of follow along. This person seems very controlling and possessive and they use your emotions against you. 
They use the love that you have for them against you. So the lowest potential in this connection, the weak spot in this relationship or area that needs work is the three of pentacles. There's no teamwork. Okay, you got two threes here too. There might be other outside interferences here in this connection, whether it's people, places, things, mindsets, addictions, patterns, definitely patterns. Um, but you guys are not on the same team. You know, you guys have to work together in order for this to... Um, be something that's healthy. And if it's one-sided and you're doing all the work, that's not really going to help the magician. Clarifying the Three of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups. I don't know why I feel like this person feels like they used their past against you. Or the past against you. I don't know if you've ever done anything in the past that they hold against you. Whether it's something you said or did. But it's almost like they try to like manipulate you or use your past against you or something like that. Whatever that means for you, that can literally mean anything. But it's like, I feel like this or this person could use their past against this and be like, oh, well, this is why I don't put in the work or this is why I don't do this because of what I've been through. And like, that's not an excuse. You've been through that. That's dead, done and over with. And we are at where we are, are now. Like, what are you going to do to get, you know, to fix this? So let's see. Is this person going to try to fix things? Or No, the Five of Pentacles. Sorry. This person feels like they're going to leave you out in the cold. It just seems like they just... They cause... I don't know if they caused you to be sick. The Six of Wands. I feel like you're just done with this. You're tired of this person... Acting as if you're not important or acting as if they are like your father or mother. It's like they're very, very bossy. The Eight of Wands. You guys are done. I feel like you guys are done. The Seven of Cups and the Knight of Wands. You're so tired of being confused and not knowing what's going on and getting these broken promises and stuff. I do feel like this was a trauma bond. Like you came together both having your own stories, right? And they could have been a little bit similar or something like that to where it's like you guys kind of understood each other, understood the pain that you guys been through, not realizing that like maybe you guys weren't healed from this or maybe they weren't healed from this. You know, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, you guys could have been the one that took care of things. I just feel like this person has broke you down. You made, it made you, They made you feel like you can't hang out with anybody. The Hangman, the Ace of Swords as I'm saying that. Like, they took advantage of you. Hardcore. They could have also blocked you from being able to speak to other people. The judgment card. They may, like, they're very harsh. Okay? Like, the way they communicate is very rude. Like, they may call you out of your name. They may say, oh, I know that you did this when, like, it's just probably something in their head. To me, this person seems like they think they know it all. The Four of Cups. This person's going to end up losing this with you. They're going to end up losing you because they don't know how to treat you right. And then after this, they're going to realize, like, that they should have treated you better. I think this is going to end up being a missed opportunity. You have let your friends help you, and then you have separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. I forgot to mention those. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles for your outcome. Okay, and the Page of Wands. You guys are headed in a new path. It's too overwhelming. You're tired of all the work being on you. And you're tired of always trying to be enough for this person. And then it's just like they shoot you down every single time. You know, every time you think like something's going good or everything, something feels better or whatever. It's like they shoot you down every time. It's like there's a lot of like loneliness coming from your energy here. The High Priestess and the Knight of Cups. I feel like you guys know that Spirit has been trying to get you um, to follow your heart. And I feel like your heart is telling you that it's time to go. The Ten of Swords. It's like this is the end. You know? Too much hurt. Too much pain. This person has gotten away with so much that they've done to you. That I, I feel like this person's about to get their karma. The Two of Cups. And the Two of Pentacles and the world. For a while, you held off making this decision because the love that you had for them. 
but now all you're seeing is patterns. I feel like this person's making you sick, whether that is like not having no motivation, um, headaches, always being tired. I just feel like you guys are tired of the juggling um, that you have to do dealing with this person. And I feel like you guys have learned something. Like, I feel like this is a spiritual graduation with the world. It's like spiritually you've learned some type of lesson and there's nothing else that you can get out of this connection and i feel like now you guys are building up your strength to speak up and say what you truly want out of this connection um and i do feel like you guys are going to tell this person that you don't feel loved you don't feel appreciated you don't feel wanted and i do feel like you guys are making plans to leave i feel like maybe some of you guys may be secretly like saving up some money here so this way you guys kind of can get yourself out of this situation all right. And if not, that could be something that you need to do. If this is somebody that you guys are dealing with right now, don't go telling them what you're going to do. Don't tell them that you're going to leave because with the, the page of cups here, it's like this person knows what to say to keep you stuck. You know, it's like they're going to try to block you from leaving. OK, so don't tell this person that you're leaving until you're leaving. All right. Don't tell them like a month or two before because then they're going to try to win you back over okay and i did just see 11 11 you have the three of cups this is what's coming in for you the ten of cups and the world see there's happiness coming in for you when you walk away from this connection i feel like you're going to feel a lot more like yourself you're going to be able to spend more time with the people that um you love your soul family there's people from your soul family coming in which is like new soulmates soulmates are people that you spend lifetimes with that your souls really enjoyed each other so you guys wanted to come and spend more time together in this lifetime you have people that are coming in that are on your same level and the ten of cups and the world you still have that opportunity for your happily ever after when you walk away from this person know that better things are coming for you okay let's just get one card from the spirit Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you guys have already planted the seed and you've been nurturing it. And soon you're going to start reaping the rewards. All your hard work is going to pay off. Okay. The temperance card. Go with the flow. I just seen one, two, two, one. All right. Go with the flow. Take your time. This is about testing the waters and doing things in moderation. So not rushing into anything, but slowly getting your plan together, slowly saving up and working towards um walking away from this person all right like i said the three of cups the ten of cups in the world this is a successful ending okay so that brings happiness and contentment so i do want to pull one of these cards It says, it is by divine intervention that your situation will be handled. This is outside of your control. Expect grand gestures from the universe and spirit. Have faith in the outcome. There are things happening behind the scenes that you are unaware of. All that is happening is for you and not against you. Stay in truth and trust the process. Then you have moderation. And I am going to read this because I was just talking about this with the temperance card. It says, this is an omen that you or someone else around you may be overdoing it. This could represent overindulgence, vanity, or imbalance. This brings attention to traits of narcissism, substance abuse, intensity, lack of discipline, or impulsive behavior. Pause, healthier habits are needed. Intervention is coming. And that's what I feel like you guys are doing. You guys are so tired of having to deal with somebody that can't keep themselves together, you know, or can't you know do better for themselves or for you and i feel like you guys are just choosing yourself and you're moving forward they could be an air sign aquarius libra gemini they don't have to but the king of air is you know about your mindset thinking things through so just know that if this is something that you guys are planning on doing like moving walking away from this person you're happily ever after is still out there for you i don't feel like this person is it okay I hope this helps and if it does, please like and subscribe and have a good day, okay? See you.